hear me? Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. How are you guys doing? Being good? Mm, that's good. <laughs> I totally wasn't, uh, you know, uh, speed running, eating uh, cup noodles. That's why I'm like a minute late. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> I just went down to get some strawberry milk. Yeah. I bought some strawberry milk. I finished my noodles. I finished my noodles. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what the world record, but it was a good, good, like, like, four and a half minutes. <laughs> good four and a half minutes. Mm. <laughs> no, actually, I actually want to get a bunch of, like, milk from the store. And there was, like, strawberry milk, banana milk, and melon milk. So I got, like, two packages of each. <laughs> I just happened to grab strawberry milk because, um, actually, Oli, Oli Tang, Oli Tang mentioned that she liked strawberry milk. I was like, oh, I have strawberry milk. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. It's delicious. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, how are you guys doing? Doing good? I already asked this. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, so today, today is gonna be uh, me and you, me and you learning how to use this program called Krita. Yes. Mm -hmm -hmm. We're gonna be using Krita. I have used this once, which was earlier this morning, just to get a feel for what it does. <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna be a long journey because, uh, we have a lot of like non-drawing stuff to go through, and then we got uh, we got some drawing too. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I know those of you who who have uh, been using Krita for many many years are probably more uh, used to it than I am. <laughs> I'm completely new, completely new. So uh, I guess it'll be helpful for anyone who if uh, anyone if it's your first time trying out Krita, you can just uh, follow around. Yes, Krita is a free. Free! I say free! Free and free! <laughs> free and open source program. Mm. So anyone can download it and use it themselves. It's free! Free 99. <laughs> Just kidding. Free! Free! Free. Yes. Mm. It's also open source, so if there's anything I'm... I'm like pointing out, and uh, if you guys know how to code things, you might want to uh, shave me over and uh, code it. <laughs> Just uh, letting you know. Hmm. I love free programs that are really, really useful, like OBS, like Blender. <laughs> ah, yes. Beautiful, beautiful programs. So powerful, but free to use. Hmm. Anyways, shall we get shall we get started? Shall we get started? Hmm. So, um, when I usually uh, start up a new program or program that I gotta use, right? I started off with uh, Clip Studio too, but I learned Clip Studio over many many years, so I learned a bunch of stuff. But um, as for uh, Krita, I'm gonna be going over how I go through things usually. Yes. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, first, we gotta learn how to create a new canvas. I realized that I, I I played around with a lot of the window capture stuff, but it seems like it seems like um it doesn't capture the menu drop down that well. So, uh, you guys will have to follow my voice. <laughs> Making a new file. You can click here. That says a new file. Mm hmm. Or you can go file new. Oh, it doesn't show. Nah. But uh 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 yeah, it'll open up a new window. Hmm. I wish OBS captured the uh, menus as well. It's just weird. Yeah. Control N works too. Yeah, on the keyboard. Anyways, you make a new canvas. They have like uh something called predefined canvas sizes. That's, uh, if you click it, there's a bunch of things that come out. Usually, I work with A4. A4 at 300 
350 or 350 uh 300 or 350 dpi hmm yep but dpi doesn't matter as much um if you're working with like pixels and stuff but if you're working with actual real life uh what do i call it real life paper sizes i'll kind of explain what um what it means the dpi hmm <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Uh, A4 at... Since we're just learning this, uh, we can do this. I'm doing A4 at 300 PPI. Oh, this is PPI. <laughs> PPI is slightly different, but they basically mean the same thing, yeah. Um, if you create... Ta-da! Here's a new canvas. Yep. And, uh, first thing I want to do is actually, um... Actually, uh, go into settings. And then configure Krita. Yes, very important for me at least is to uh, figure out figure out my keyboard shortcuts, especially for new programs. It's the same as games. You know when you start new games and you gotta check out all the keybinds, what it does. It's the same for our programs. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Personally, I like programs where I can, uh, you know, remap the keys to what I like. So what I usually use in Clip Studio Paint, for example. Uh, ah, ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. Did I, did I say good morning, afternoon, evening? <laughs> ohayou, konnichiwa, konbanwa. <laughs> good morning, afternoon, evening. Yes. Welcome, welcome if you're joining in just now. Mm -hmm. App is for, uh, app is for, like, iPads and stuff, tablets and stuff. Hmm. But, uh, right now, we are working with a computer program. Yes. I don't know if Krita has an app. I don't think it does. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, uh, usually, what I like to change, what I like to change is, uh, wait, maybe I can write this down, actually. Is there... Ah, I can't. Okay, okay. Uh... Zoom in a little bit. <laughs> I downloaded Krita, but I can't find the installer after I downloaded it. Can you check if it's in your dishwasher? Huh? <laughs> Oi. My dishwasher isn't some kind of teleportation device. <laughs> Maybe. Anyways. Um... So... That's, uh, the things that I look out for when I change, uh, shortcuts. This is just my personal preference. It's personal, personal preferences for changing, uh, changing, uh, uh, keybinds. Okay, well, actually, actually, uh, give me one second, give me one second, I need to talk to uh, the ancient ones. Oh, John. Can you contact Emma John? Okay. They put me on hold. What? <laughs> okay, uh, give me one second, I actually want to figure out something, uh... Figure out something. So I can show you guys all the menu. Okay? Sorry. One second, please wait!
Okay, we're back. We're back, we're back. Mm. Uh, Emma-chan might bonk me for this later, but I need to do this so you guys can see my menus. <laughs> so that you guys can see my menus. Don't tell Emma-chan. She will bonk me so hard. I won't tell you what I did, but... <laughs> If Emma Chan knew, I might get bonked. Tehe. <clears throat> Anyways, uh. There, now you can see. <gasps> wow, what <well>, magic! <laughs> uh, settings. Configure Krita. Yes! <laughs> now you can see. Ha 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 ha. Yep. <laughs> And, uh, what I like to change, so, what I like to change is, uh, one is brush size, size, uh, shortcut, mm -hmm. and then two will be, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, two is, uh, changing the, uh, Opacity, no, no, opacity. Transparency of this brush. Mm -hmm. And then number three will be um uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, uh wait. I had this written down somewhere, but I lost the sticky note. <laughs> I lost the sticky note. Uh, just the. I'll figure. I'll figure it out while I'm. <laughs> I'll figure it out while I'm. Uh, while I'm. Uh, you know. Uh, working on something. I'm just like, oh, why isn't this button working? I gotta change it. But uh, not the layers. Layers are right here. Uh, layers and stuff. I don't really need to use. I'll change. But, uh, uh, there was one thing I needed to change. Oh, yeah. Oh, canvas flip. Uh, flip. Yep. Canvas flip. And, um, what else? What else? Mm. Oh, that's it. Anyways, that's it for now. <laughs> I'll, uh,. I'll, uh, you know, figure it out. Hmm. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. Anyways, we go down to configure. Yes. And we search for brush size. There's a decrease. I, I know the letters are a bit small, but, uh, decrease brush size and increase brush size. I have it bound to a different, uh, different layer or a different key. So for decrease brush size, I have it set to Z, 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 Z. <laughs> yep. Increase is an X. Uh, so for the and we assign. Okay. Hmm. Z, Z, Z. Now you can see that the brush size. I'm pressing X and Z, Z, Z. And I can freely change the brush size. I have it set to. Z, Z, and X because um, when I used to only have one keyboard, I couldn't, you know, press space and then like, like move my hand all the way over to the square brackets to change the brush size. So I was like, you know, what? I need, I need something where I can access really easily that doesn't have a really, uh, you know, really close, uh, really useful shortcut to anything else. And you know, Z and X were perfect. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, um, yep. Uh, changing the transparency of the brush. This is actually kind of important, especially with how I work. Because what I usually do is when I have a, a brush and I paint, and I just want to be like, oh, I'm going to erase this really quickly. What I do in Clip Studio Paint is called toggle transparency, I think. Hmm. 
But in this, in Krita, I was testing it out and I realized it actually had a different name. It's actually changed. It's like a button right here called set eraser mode. Eraser mode. Yeah. So basically use the same kind of brush, but it becomes an eraser. And it's the same for if you're using like a pencil tool like this. Let's say you have a really, really big pencil tool. If you toggle that eraser mode, you can erase it with the exact same brush. Hmm. And that's how I usually uh, use that a lot to, uh, you know, color pretty fast. <laughs> because I don't have to change to like, change to like eraser tool and change it back to the original tool and then to the eraser tool and the original tool. Kind of like that. Hmm. <laughs> And uh, da, 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 da. so I usually have that set to F. So let's do that. Uh, e eraser mode. This one is set to E, but I change it to F. Hmm. Okay. Reassign. And now if I oh, wait, I realize one big <laughs> one big thing with Krita. Um, usually a lot of programs. Zoom in and zoom in out of the canvas is control uh, equal sign, which is control plus kind of, you know, to zoom in and control uh, minus to zoom out. But I realized the keys are kind of buggy with Krita, so I had to uh, remap it. Why did I map it to F? It's the same as how, uh, why I remapped the brush sizes. When I used to have just one keyboard, uh, I couldn't, you know, I wanted to bind it to something, uh, something easy to reach. Hmm. And then F was just there, so yeah, F it is. And then uh, zoom. Yeah, see, it's like Control Plus, but it's buggy, so uh, you gotta remap it. Hmm. So like this, and like that. Okay. Uh, zoom out. Reassign. And now, it works. Yep, 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 yep. I have a, I have a, I have like a side keyboard thing that I use to do the zoom in and out. So, uh, I guess the uh, zoom in and out is kind of your preference. Hmm. I realized that you can, you can't also, uh, you really can't find alt. <laughs> you can't find alt to... Uh, alt on Krita, so I don't know if anyone can fix that, but Alt is usually really useful in a lot of, uh, a lot of programs for the color picker, but it doesn't work on Krita. <laughs> yeah, if you think about this, okay. Uh, Krita... Oh, wait, where did, where did the other brush go? Uh-oh, <laughs> I lost the brush that I was using originally. Oh, this is gonna have to do. Krita uses control for color people. Ah, yeah. I couldn't. It uses control for color picker, but but it would be nice if you could remap it to Alt. <laughs> if you, it'd be nice. Oh, the, oh, I don't think you can get like a copyright for Alt something keybind. <laughs> Anyways, um, what are they talking about? Chat, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, different programs. So, uh, Photoshop. I say it's more of a... You can paint, but it's also a very, uh, very good photo manipulation program. Manipulation editing program. Hmm. Program. Yes. Whereas, uh, Clip Studio Paint is good for animation, comics, illustration, illustration, etc. Krita, I would say, uh, is nice that I think you can do animation. I think you can do some vectors on it too. Because I saw SVG, which is a vector vector uh, file, and uh, and uh, illustration, 
etc. etc. Yeah. I think you can save clip. You can save. I forget if they are. Uh... Uh... I don't know if they updated. Yeah, I think they did. Hmm. Eh? Kira? Anyways, yes. Uh, yeah. He said right, said right, said right. But, uh, Clip is also coming up with a bunch of updates, like, December 10th or something, yeah. But, um, I'm pretty sure you can save as, uh, vector file too. I think. <laughs> wow! Hello! Create a devs? I'm nervous now. <laughs> I'm literally, literally. Literally just just starting to use Krita. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful program. Hmm. <laughs> I used it like very shortly or very briefly, briefly <laughs> before I started the stream, but I'm surprised like how much features it has, like and it's you know <laughs> like it's open source, so like if if someone finds something that they can improve on, they can add it in, it's like Big collaborative project. Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, I hope I hope I can do a good job promoting Krita. Because, you know... Nothing sucks more than ha not having the tools available to you to, you know, create the stuff that you have in your, in your head. Mm. <laughs> I can't talk all of a sudden. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. <coughs> Anyways. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. <yeah. laughs> I'm suddenly, suddenly, all of a sudden, my brain cells just like. Ugh. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Anyways. Ah, mm. uh, so. Krita is actually pretty good if you want to get started on, uh, you know, digital, digital, painting, drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um... Blah, blah, blah. Yep, oh yeah, one more thing to set is a uh, canvas flip. Flip. I like the, how you can search uh, what you want and it like shows up. That's a very nice feature, by the way. Because <laughs> I think in any other program like Photoshop, Clip, Psy, if you have to change... Uh, if you have to change shortcuts, you actually have to navigate through every... Uh, Every what you call it, every tab <laughs> to find what you need. <laughs> okay, canvas. Um, no, I think maybe it's mirror, mirror, oh, mirror. Yeah. Uh, da 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 da. Mirror image. Mirror horizontally. I think that's it. I bind this to H. Yes. Is this? Uh, no. <laughs> that was wrong. See, trial and error, trial and error. <laughs> uh, mirror. Um, menu. Maybe it's this? Itch. Itch, itch. Yes! See? Now I can flip, 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 flip. Very easy. Hmm. These are the, uh, this, blah, blah, blah. These are the basic uh, keybinds that I go through. Uh, if you have trouble following it right now, uh, you can always watch the archive and, you know, there's like a play playback speed <laughs> adjustment button. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Why do artists flip part? That's a good question. It's because uh, sometimes when you're drawing one thing, you don't realize your mistakes because your eyes are really used to seeing that image. So if you want like a fresh eye to the uh, to that image, then it, the easiest thing you can do is flip. Yeah. Uh, Krita has a bunch of uh, preset um, preset keybinds, but I'm just changing. I'm just changing it so that you know my muscle memory 
<laughs> Muscle memory from uh, clip usage <laughs> that I binded like many years ago. Yep. So flipping is really useful for just getting like a quick uh, view on what it is. Mm -hmm. And um, yep. That's uh... Muscle memory is hard to get rid of <laughs> right off the bat. Anyways. Uh, one thing, one other thing I also wanted to go over is, uh, I forget where the, uh... Was it here? Yeah, it was here. Um, there's a few things you want to go through. This... This is actually very, very useful. It's the input pressure graph. Yes. Have you seen this before? You know what this is? <laughs> Basically, you can adjust, you can adjust the amount of pressure uh, that your pen input puts in. You can customize it. Hmm. So, uh, let's say uh, I can put this to really, really like this, just to show you what it does. So if I do that, it means if I if I press really, really hard. It'll show up. Okay, it doesn't show up because I put it to extreme. Uh, ah! I accidentally opened a new window. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. Where? Oh no. Uh, where is? Uh oh. How do I close this? <laughs> uh, da 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 da. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, hold up. Give me a second, sorry. We're back. Don't worry. <laughs> We're back. Sorry about that. I accidentally opened a new window and then it like covered up like three of my monitors. Uh, anyways. Uh, back to where we were. So, if you lower this like this, it means... <laughs> uh, low pressure equals... If you put... Uh... <laughs> Even if you put low pressure, it will like barely give you an input, kind of. I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly. Oh, I have I have double monitors plus my tablet, so that's technically three. <laughs> yeah. That's technically three. Cause the Cintiq is a monitor. <laughs> hmm. I have one for gaming, one for monitoring stuff, and one for drawing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, what I usually do, personally, um, if you find that uh, your your pen, if your hands are really, um, it hurts a lot, and you have to put a lot of pressure, then you just gotta whoop, up this graph a little bit, mm. and then uh, you know, <laughs> monitoring, monitoring, yes, and then. It allows you to draw a lot more thicker lines easily, basically. 
<laughs> with little pressure. Mm. But for me, I like to adjust it kind of like this. Hmm. Gives me a lot more control over how much thin lines and thick lines I do. With the amount of pressure I usually put on my pen. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, um... Uh... Is this sponsored? Nope. <laughs> I just wanted to find a program that, you know, everyone can use because it's free. Hmm. You click your mirror key on, it should be set to mirror view. What? Mirror view? <laughs> mirror view. Hold on. Mirror view. Is it M? Yeah, but... Okay, let me tell you the difference between what I was doing and what the other one was doing. Mirror view is faster, but... Look. Look. <laughs> look. It flips on an axis that's on the middle. <laughs> it's not centered. <laughs> Therefore... I shall mirror image vertically or horizontal. <laughs> and this, this way, it stays on where you are. See? See? <laughs> yep, anyways, uh, yeah. I think that's good enough for the basic of what I do, uh, when I first. Put up an art program. Yes. <laughs> That's right. I'm ahead of you guys. <laughs> I thought about this. Multi multi layer thinking. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <sighs> okay. Other than that, um, now we get to the fun part, which is not drawing yet. <laughs> I just have to move the windows around so it's easiest for me to reach them. And, uh, do you see this this button right here, w where my mouse is? It's kind of small, but you can click that, and it pops it out to new layer. And, if you guys like to, you can, oh, you can drag it everywhere that you like. Also, that is really long. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. So, usually I have my color... Oh, stop. <laughs> stop snapping so early. <laughs> okay, stop. There you go. I have my color here. I have my layers here. This is pretty much the same for my clip too. That's why you guys don't see my layers and tools because they're on floating windows like this usually. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I do the same with the uh, brushes here. Make it small. If I can. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the stuff I don't need, I can get rid of. Uh, that. Two options. Nope, I don't need that stuff. Uh, how do I? Okay, we do that, and then just... oh, I guess we don't. We can't really get rid of that. Never mind. Maybe I can move it to this side where I'll need it. Right. Uh. <laughs> right here. There you go. And then just go. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then we can get rid of the. Oh, usually you can have a small preview window that shows like your entire canvas. Usually I just pop out a new window of the same file and just stick it on another monitor <laughs> so it's not in my way. So I'll just get rid of that. Now you have more space to draw. Wow! Hmm. There we go. And now, this is pretty much all good. Yep. <laughs> See? Oh. It's best to uh, set up your workspace that you're comfortable with. 
you saw a preview of what I was gonna work on later, so... <laughs> oh, it's nothing to panic about, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I'm five steps ahead of you guys in thinking about this. Anyways... Mm hmm 40 minutes for setup, you know... The thing is, if you spend 40 minutes ahead of time... To set up everything to work as you like, then you know <laughs> you'll be set for a long time. It's a time investment, yes. Anyways, um, let's see. Uh, now we get to the fun part. Fun part. Fun part. Brushes. 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 I know everyone's been waiting for brushes. Everyone's been waiting for brushes. I know, I know. And, just to let you guys know, I'll uh, figure out how to share the brushes that I create today on, on this stream. Hmm. And uh, if you guys want to... I'll ask Emma Chan if there's like a way to share it with everyone. So if you guys like the brush that I'm creating today, then you guys can download it and use it on your Krita as well. Yes. Anyways, I'm gonna be creating uh two brushes today two brushes All right come on zoom in okay two brushes two one is my uh number one is my uh line art brush line art which is gonna be a sort of like a pencil pencil like feel to it i think this brush is actually really nice but it's too too inky 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 <laughs> Too ink-like for me, so I'm gonna be uh, using a pencil-like brush and then adjusting it so it looks like uh, a, a brush that I can use that's similar to Clip Studio. Uh, number two is gonna be my coloring brush, coloring brush, and then a brush, which is gonna be uh, most likely watercolor based. Hmm, watercolor based. I like a brush with like a little bit of fringe to them. Like it looks like a actual like watercolor, and then yeah, it's like a little dark on the edges. But uh, I'll see if I can figure something out like that. Mm. And uh, watercolor what? Based on watercolor, watercolor based brush. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, you guys, please. <laughs> and that's about it. Hmm. And so, uh, Krita has a lot of brushes. <laughs> and they also have brush packs that you can download as well. I know some people uh, shared it. But let's test out some brushes here. Uh, digital. Uh, Sketch. Ah, pencil. Okay. Okay. There's another pencil. Oh! This is actually not bad. This is a default brush too. Hmm. Uh, and... Oh, this one is like the sad way. Oh, it's this one, right? Okay. It's actually pretty close to the brush that I used too. Uh, there's also... Um, yeah. Oh, what about this one? Ah... Uh, not really. Wait, this one's a good good one to test on. Uh, let's just make a new... This a new layer? Yep. New layer... And... I believe it's F5? Yeah, F5 pops up with the uh, detailed brush settings. Whoa, scary. One good thing I learned about uh, Krita is that they have a scribble pad on the side. Hmm, look at it. So you can test out your brushes while you're adjusting them. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, let's see. Usually I start with the brush tip. Uh, auto, predefine. There's like a bunch of tips that you can use. Basically, what the 
brush tips do is um it choose it you see what my cursor looks like right now? It looks like a tiny rectangle. Basically that's like the edge edge of my brush and that's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna drag it across and create these brush strokes. Hmm. And so I'm just gonna switch back to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can also adjust the density, which means... I don't know if it, you guys can see it, because it's kind of kind of tiny. Let me... Oh, there you go. If you increase density, it becomes fully filled. And if it's less dense, you can see the dots getting less and less dense. <laughs> Opacity and density are different. Mm. They're different. So, as you can see, you can see the stroke on the top. It becomes more like stringy. Mm -hmm. And if I go full full density, it becomes really full, right? That's kind of what density works, how density works in Krita, I think. Mm. Wow. And spacing means how far apart each uh, brush tip is. Yeah. So you can adjust it to however you like. Uh, usually, like my. Uh... Like my pencils, slightly less than like around 85 90%. Hmm. And then I do like to add in a little uh, randomness to it. Uh, like that. Mm -hmm. So it looks more organic in a way. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm right handed, yes. That's why the menu's on the left. And then my right side of the screen is kind of free. Yep. <laughs> and uh, going back. Uh, da, 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 da. Opacity is not set. You don't have to choose that. Blending mode. Uh, basically, you know how layers have different uh, layer modes? You can also do that uh, with uh, individual brushes. So every time... Uh, every time you make a stroke, for example, if you set it to multiply, every time you put out a new stroke, it means the next stroke has the multiply effect to whatever you've drawn already. Uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> hmm. Size. Uh, this is also important. Uh, basically, you've seen this graph before, I've showed you guys. But this one, it'll show you uh, how how much... If you look at the stroke above, you can kind of see... Uh, adjusting this, uh, the graph here will let you know uh, how much... Uh, how much pressure you put on will how will make it... will make your strokes thinner or thicker depending on... depending on what you adjust. So I like my strokes to be... A, a little... More than... More than zero. Because I don't want it to be super pointy at the end. That's just the personal preference. Uh, I do like mine to be a little more uniform. And then taper off a little bit at the end. Like so. See? Hmm. Now you see that... It's a little more natural looking, right? Last time, if you see here, this looked the same as this. Yeah, but if you adjust those curves to your liking, uh, you can adjust it so it's a lot more thinner when you start with like, uh, when you start with like a lower, pre uh, if you put less pressure when you draw at the start, and then you go, ooh. So basically, all these settings just give you more control over the tools. Mm. And the stuff I'm teaching you guys right now, or just going over, uh, it's the same for Clip Studio Paint as well. I'm not sure about Photoshop because their pen settings and stuff is really different. But Clip is very similar to Krita when it comes to brush setting. So, take notes. <laughs> yep. Anyways. That's the size. Hmm. And da, 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 da. we go back here. We can also adjust a whole bunch of things. Uh, oh yeah, the texture. If you guys see 
on the top. I, I think it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can make it a lot bigger. Yeah, if you guys see on the top, the scale of the texture basically means how how big you want the texture of the pen to be. Basically, what these textures do is that um, imagine imagine there's like a piece of textured paper, and then you're drawing drawing a line on it. Like you know those one of those like carbon paper things. Except imagine that as like a texture, and then if you draw on it, like if you draw line art on it, basically the exact texture uh, comes up on your on your screen. It's sort of like that. So in case of this, if you want more bigger texture, like grainy texture to show up, then uh, you make the scale really big. But I usually like a good balance between the texture and the pen. So it doesn't look too grainy. It doesn't look too grainy, but it doesn't look too smooth in a way. Yeah. So if you look at, at the brush from far away, it'll, it doesn't look like it has a uh, texture. But if you look very closely, you can see that it has, it has kind of like a noise to it. Hmm. Yeah. And let's see. You can also adjust the brightness and contrast of it. Hmm. So when it comes to textures too, it's good to have a uh, texture file that's kind of high resolution, which is which means that it has like it's like a bigger bigger size because um, basically it just means that even when you zoom in a lot with the scale, it won't be looking like all pixely and box like. Hmm. At least that's what I think. Okay, chat. <laughs> Read the rules before, uh, you know, chatting. <laughs> I know I can't read all the chat at once, but uh, try to stay on topic so I can actually answer the questions, etc. Mm -hmm. Got it. Read the rules. Okay. <laughs> and you can also adjust uh, how much texture shows up when you put a lot of pressure, etc, etc. So you can ch even change it so that if you put a lot of pressure, then none of the texture come up. If you put a little less texture, then less comes up. Wah. Wah. Uh oh. <laughs> I messed something up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hmm. And so, this is actually getting sort of close to my other, other brush, line art brush. Hmm. Anyways. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. The best part about open source software is that if there's something you don't like, you can always adjust it yourself. Hmm. Exactly. Anyways, uh, let's see. What other options can I tweak? There's a bunch of things I can tweak, but right now I think. Ah, soft sharpness. Yes. You see, I realized that if you zoom in, it's a little fuzzy. Like, it looks a bit cloudy, kind of. So I want it to be a little sharper, and I realized that. That Krita has a sharpness filter, but you can sharpen it up a little bit. I wonder if you can tell the difference, but... Let's see... Oh. But it just makes the edges and the textures a little more sharper. So it looks a little cleaner. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, let's see... First tip... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Blending mode, opacity. Usually for pencil tool, I don't really use uh, opacity. Yeah. Anyways, this is the brush that we created. Hmm. The reason I'm going over the different um, options and stuff for the brushes is so that you guys can, you know, when you get new brushes and stuff, and you're just like, oh, I don't really, I kind of wish it did this and that instead of doing this. Uh, these options are the stuff that you're gonna be 
you gonna be tweaking to get it to your liking. Yeah. How do you learn to memorize all these brush settings? Uh, basically, you just get used to it once you tweak it around a lot. It's basically trial and error. And then you're just like, oh yeah, this setting does this. And then you remember on a different program, this setting does this. So you kind of connect the thoughts in your head. Yep. Hmm. Yep. So there is my fine art brush. Crisp. Pencil base. Fresh. Yep. Uh, let me just... Let's see if I can add this to my favorites. And then... Save as new brush set. Ina... Ina... Pencil. Save. Now is that Ina Pencil? No. Where did it save to? <laughs> Where did it save to? I do not know. <laughs> Anyways, that's the fine art pen. Pencil? Pen? Yep. Uh, the next one is gonna be the watercolor. Yes. And there was actually a brush that I kinda liked seeing. I think it was this one. Pretty sure it was this one. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the basic size opacity. Seems like it. Actually, this brush right now is pretty good on its own. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see what I can tweak though. Size. Mm hmm. This is good. Uh, texture is only on strength. Wonder if it was this one that gave. Uh, circle. Nope. Oh. Ah. Hmm. I forget, but there's another brush that gave a better, uh, fringe. Effect. Let me see if I can find it. I think it was on all... Was it this one? Yeah. Oh, it was this one. This one is very close to... What I kind of liked. A little more blendy than usual. Hmm. Was it this? Oh, no, no, no. It was this one. This one. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. What's it called? Watercolor basic round fringe. Yes. Fringe, not fringe. <laughs> Let's see. This. Mm -hmm. uh, this does it pretty well, actually. Um, size is good. If I could up the... Up the opacity a little bit. That'd be great. Not, not this. Uh, maybe... Hmm... Do, 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 do. No. I did not see it. One. Yeah, this is basically what I go through when I make brushes. I do all kinds of testing. <laughs> so you guys are just seeing that right now. Yeah. I guess it's a... Uh... What's to say? Ah, that's why. Okay. If I make it this... No, that doesn't change much. <laughs> I do this, and then... Hmm... Auto. Density, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
They say... Oh, no, that doesn't do much. Boom, I see, I see. We might have to change... This. Oh. Ah, so the flow... See, the size and flow on this brush specifically, if you see the stroke preview at the top, it changes the fringe at the top. I think the mask brush is also similar to that. Yes, it does. So, so basically, in Krita, if you wanna do, uh, if you wanna do these effects, it's basically having two different brushes overlaid on top of each other. Two br different tips with two different uh, settings. So right now I have one, one big brush like this, and then another one kind of. Blended in here, and this is kind of blended in a little better, but basically that's what makes it like that. I think. Hmm. Yeah. So. Sure. <laughs> and oh, there's my pencil tool. Not that to favorite. I think I can work with this. Hmm. Oh, where did the watercolor one go? There you go. You know what? The base of this one is okay to work with. Hmm. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yep, the program and the stuff that I use is on the... On the screen. Yep. Oh, this is not that either. Basic opacity, basic flow. Yeah. Basically, what the. <laughs> I, I say basically a lot. But, um. All the programs, especially Krita, Clip Studio Paint, um. It gives you. There's a lot of people who made brushes already. Hmm. So, if you guys like some, uh, some sort of effect that someone has, and if they have a brush pack, you can always download and uh, try them out, adjust it to your liking, etc, 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 etc. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, yep. I think we're pretty much set to start drawing. Let me add a few more brushes. Uh, some of the brushes I'm using is gonna be, uh, gonna be from the... Uh, Oh, what's this? From the actual uh, default library without any edits. Hmm. So, yeah. I'll see if I can link to all the brushes that I use afterwards. And so... Give me... One second. And we can get started on the... Uh, <laughs> The next part of this stream. So I'll be back in a bit. Yoisho.
And we're back. <laughs> ah, I'm back to I'm back to the safe mode, window capture. Yeah. Phew. So, no, I didn't draw this uh right away. Right now, I do this while I was testing Krita. <laughs> Don't worry, this is still done on Krita, so... Is it promised on... The member stream? That I'll be working on Noel Senpai and... Claire Senpai's... Art. Can art. Yes. <laughs> and I had a rough idea of what I wanted to draw. So using the tools that we created... Let's get started. Shall we? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, new layer. And there you go. Yep. The training arm is over. I don't know, that was just me struggling with a bunch of brushes and settings. Hmm. Uh, let me zoom into... Studio Senpai. And... I didn't realize how long Studio Senpai's years were, but... She is an elf after all. I do feel like the calibration is a little off compared to what I'm used to. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Senpai's eyes do come a bit sharper towards the end. If you think about her face, how it looks, her nose will be here. Her mouth is here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was a really rough sketch, so the what you call it? Your rough is very uh, what should I say? A little off, <laughs> but that's what a rough is for. I'll fix it while drawing the rest. Oh wait, there was one setting I didn't do, which was deselect. Just gonna be control D. There you go. Uh, do, 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 do. How do you change the flip the layer like that? It's uh mirroring the canvas. Uh, I know you can't see the archive right now, but afterwards you can go back and see uh, the option that is called. It, it usually has a different... Uh, oh, what happened to this? It usually has a different uh, shortcut to it, but I changed it, but it's... I think it's called mirror image horizontally? Hmm. Do I rotate the canvas? Yes, I do. Just not on this uh this one right now because 
the alt key doesn't work. <laughs> I usually have alt space for rotating the canvas. But right now, we're gonna have to do with what we, got, we have right now. So... <laughs> <laughs> And so our cage and body a little more. This is gonna be holding the puck. Huh. Ah it's your birthday. Uh happy birthday and thank you for the super chat and the message. Mm. Yeah, I felt like um, I felt like if I was drawing one of them, I had to draw the other one too. <laughs> They're a good pair. Mm. So like so, and then she's holding a book. So. Yes, happy birthday, happy birthday. Sorry if I missed any other like uh any other messages. Realized that when I'm doing the uh, other capture method, I can't really have chat on the same screen. Mm. And then like so. Like so she's holding a book. Hmm. I think for drawing hands, I'm still working on it, but it's easiest if I draw like a general shape of it and then draw in the rest. Hmm. It's like that. Like so. Yep, yeah, you're drawing Player Senpai and Nolo Senpai right now. I was the nest that got DC from the member stream yesterday. Just wanted to say sorry for crashing and thank you for the games. Ah! So I knew it wasn't just uh, just uh, leaving the game. GG! Was fun playing with you. Yep. See? See chat? Those of you who watched the... Uh, Member Smash Team yesterday. You shouldn't always jump to conclusions quickly. You gotta be <laughs> PK Fire! PK Fire! <laughs> yep. You gotta be more understanding. Hmm. How many wins did I get? Uh, I can count it within within one hand. I can say that. <laughs> yep. Anyways, uh back to back 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 to try. It's still the it's still the training arc, okay? <laughs> and then and to draw her hair. I really love Flair Senpai's hair. It's like it looks so silky smooth. Plus, I like Papa. Silky smooth hair. Oh, I feel like I am drawing. Ah, I feel like I'm rusty. I feel like I haven't drawn in so long. But I have been drawing like all day. <laughs> It's really rough not being able to rotate the canvas, actually. I didn't realize. Actually, the brush. 
Hmm. You wanna squish my hair? You'll have a price to pay for that. Oh, I was drawing with the wrong brush this entire time. Using a new program is always difficult, but it's a learning curve. I can't be all of a sudden good at all the programs I try, right? <laughs> it's like when you play games and then you play a similar genre of game and then you have a general good feel for how it, how, it, how you play it because of different games, but then like you gotta, gotta learn the ins and outs of the new game. This is the... This is definitely not the tool that we... Hmm... Oh, there it is. There are rotate options, but it's not the rotate options that I'm, uh, I'm looking for, maybe. <laughs> Chat is going fast. Uh, it's the usual speed, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> do I have references? Of I do. It's on a separate screen. Mm -hmm. Is a fair senpai and no senpai in their new co uh, costumes outfits. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, on her it used to be a little more like so. Yes. And then she has a choker. Did you know Fire Senpai and Noel Senpai have like matching chokers? It's so adorable. Tete, <laughs> yes. How much I use on clip for sure. <laughs>
When do I go on to the new layer? When I feel like I need a clarification on uh, what I'm drawing, especially with roughs. Hmm. Otherwise, it's usually when I need to color uh, something differently, etc. Hmm. Oh, I am drawing uh, flares in five. This is kind of hard to tell at this point, maybe. <laughs> And then she has a belt on her waist, like so. So, hmm. Yeah, layers. Use as many as you feel like you need. That's basically the rule of using layers. Use as many as you feel like you need. And then. I'm going to go like that. Mm -hmm. So, yep, 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 yep. Rough is uh, finished for Fair Senpai. Hmm. Need a heart? Why do you use layers instead of drawing all in one piece? Uh, it's just the way I work. Um, I find it easier to have line art on one layer and then colors on different layers so that I don't always have to redraw my layers if I draw over them, etc. Yep, yep, yep. And so... Have it like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side... We have Noel Senpai. Yes, okay, just zooming in so I get the details correctly. And let's actually move their Senpai over a little bit just for now. And then start drawing Noel Senpai. So So Yeah, A4 How about I write it in the corner? Well, it's flipped, but oh, eh. you guys can read backwards, right? <laughs> you guys can read backwards. <laughs> it's fine, you'll just learn to read backwards. The ancient text, yes.
While I was looking at the reference picture for Noel Simpa, I didn't realize how I didn't realize how big K Cup was. <laughs> yep. I'm not jealous, I'm just saying I didn't realize it was Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could rotate the canvas right now. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. oh. And then she has her hands on her tummy. Hmm. <laughs> Nitro dynamics. Hmm. Lovely. Stand together like this. Like so. And this is where we go into the detail. And her hair. Oh yeah, she has glasses on. Oh, I can add the glasses later. <laughs> I really love Noel Senpai's hair in her new costume. It's like they both both Flair Senpai and Noel Senpai has braids on their hair. It's like oh, glasses are very versatile. Yes. I feel like my calibration, at least on... At least on Krita is a little off. It's like, my, my pen would be... My pen would be pointing like right here. But the, the cursor is like right there. <laughs> on the screen. So it does look a little off. I should have adjusted this before I started. Hmm. Um, I think for free program it's very 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 good. Yes. If you guys uh if you guys wanna try it out, I think it's really it's worth it. Hmm. Definitely. Does her Oh, so it's not like a... it's not like a uh all the way to the back, but it's like a Double ribbon on this side. Hmm. Will you be adjusting it? Uh, I don't know at the moment. I don't know how to at the moment. And since I already got started on drawing senpais, I'll just continue on. <laughs> it's fine. Is there an iPad version? Oh, I do not think so. But a uh, good program for... Or good app. App. Good app for iPad is actually Procreate. Hmm. Actually, funny story. Um... I bought Procreate uh, when it like first came out, <laughs> first came out ish on my tiny tiny uh, iPod. I don't know iPod Touch was it called? <laughs> it was like two ninety nine back in the day. <laughs> it was definitely two ninety nine back in the day. And, uh, I didn't, I didn't use it for a really long time. And then, uh, and then when I got an iPad, 
and I was like, I need a drawing program. I saw Procreate. I was like, oh, I don't need to buy it. Why? <laughs> and then I realized I bought it many, many, many years ago. Yeah. I think it's like, what, 11 99 I forget what the price was. It was like $5.99 for a while, for, from what I remember. But then uh, with the new features and updates and stuff, they upped the price. But, yes. I bought it very early. Hmm. $9.99? Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh... Yes. I really love how loose her hair is. Loose her. There's no sometimes hair. Is. So cute. So cute. Now this girl. Ah, uh, move this over a little bit. I think I'm gonna need to do major adjustments on the final version of this piece. <laughs> It's because I can't I can't turn the canvas, I'm turning my head. <laughs> mm. Shift space. It's shift space, not alt space. Okay, that changes things. Thanks, chat. That is so useful. Okay, that has to be a little lower like this. So yeah, I don't know if this is this stream is relatively okay. I guess uh, I'll see if I can try different uh, free programs as well, or like pretty cheap programs in a way. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and so. Shift space, shift space. Gotta remember it's shift space. And then she has her skirt. Like so. I just realized their uh, their sweater design is similar too, cause Sir Senpai has these X's on her on her jacket, and then Noel Senpai also has those X laces on her sweater. Dude, you're so cute. Pay to the maximum that they get matching clothes. And then she has a watch on her left hand. Hmm. Yes. And then belt. Gotta remind myself what the keyboard is or what the shortcut is. <laughs> Otherwise, I press the wrong buttons. Go to bed. Good 
night. Oops. That and then that. Oh, my nose is itchy. I wish I can sneeze. I don't know. I haven't been able to sneeze while I'm streaming. <laughs> it's a weird, weird phenomenon. <laughs> I wish I can sneeze like Gura. <laughs> Anxiety? I don't know. eggs in each drawing. Mmm. Sometimes if I feel like it. Sometimes. <laughs> uh... Alright. I need to really fix the loss of my space. Did a really bad job. Not too bad. Just gotta draw her glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it's one of those glasses that's uh let's see. A really rough outline of the glasses. Is her very first time? Yes.
yeah. The rough is kind of done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brush, but uh, a little bit more. Mm, what you call it? A little more opacity. Hmm. I want to see how how good line art could be. It's like I want to mix between this brush and this brush. Let me... I think I found the answer. Kind of. Kind of. <gasps> Is this it? group player, not folder. Hmm. <laughs> now just gotta make this opacity a lot lower. Yes. New group player. New layer. And then... Oh, no! <laughs> there you go. Now we go to line art. How far I can go. Any drawings in your book? Uh, maybe. But if you guys try to comprehend it, you might lose all your sanity points. Is what I've been told. <laughs> When I feel like there's like a um, a gap between what I'm drawing and like uh, what the tablet is calibrated to, I kind of get used to it by the time I get to the liner. Yeah. <laughs> Can you lose sanity points if you didn't have any to begin with? <laughs> yeah, she has the hat. Her senpai has the hat. I just didn't draw it. Hmm... I feel like I need to make this a little bigger... Wow. Mm -hmm. I guess if 
thing with um thing with Kridot at the moment. Feels like when you free transform, it blurs stuff quite a bit. It feels like. I wonder if there's an option for that. Because uh How big is the canvas? Dun 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 dun. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Um Transfer and quality. There probably is, isn't there? <laughs> hmm. So. Yeah, because um, when it comes to transform tools on different uh different programs, they use a different uh, they. Usually have different options like uh, bicubic, bilinear, and stuff like that, and you can adjust to adjust it so uh, it's a little less blurry. It's a little more sharp when you transform stuff. But... Hmm. Ah, there is. I see. I see. It's on there too often. Ah, okay. okay. So there it is. See, the thing with like open source program is that whatever you wish for, whatever you think of, you can kind of tell that someone else has already thought of it <laughs> and is already worked on it. Like so. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have worked on a slightly bigger canvas though. I do feel like my brushes are getting a little pixely. Like this is a hundred percent. That's kind of tiny. <laughs> I didn't realize. I mean, if I spend more time, if I spent more time with the with the program, I feel like I could have done a better job teaching. But ah, yeah, a lot to improve on. Hmm. You sure? It's fun learning together. I'm glad, I'm glad. Yeah, it's my first time actually like teaching someone how to use the program. Cause usually I'm just like, uh, read the manual. <laughs> so it's fun kind of figuring out how to... Um, go about... Like showing you guys what my thought process is when I turn on a new art program, kind of. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Reading the manual, unheard of. Yeah. But when it comes to stuff like Clip Studio Paint, where there's a lot of... a lot and a lot and a lot of functions, and when people uh, ask like the most basic questions, I'm just like, but it's written in the manual. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I feel like teaching, sometimes I don't. <laughs> I'm telling you, number one skill that you need as an artist is to learn to Google. <laughs> learn to Google. If you know the ways of Google, you have the world in your palms. It's the same for a lot of things, honestly. <laughs> hmm.
programming is 95% Googling, yes. <laughs> when it comes to art, it's like... Mm, when you're looking for references, if you want to look for certain references, there's some keywords you could search for. Um, or if there's a certain function you're looking for, especially when you're studying new programs and stuff. If there's something you don't know, then, uh, then you can search it up. That's the case with um, when I'm learning how to, uh, how to use Blender recently. There's a function I don't know how to do. Google. <laughs> and there's usually a YouTube tutorial along with it too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. YouTube tutorials these days. So many of them. So useful. A blender stream next. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna make the 3D artist community facepalm all at once. So maybe after I learn a little more. <laughs> YouTube University, basically. <laughs> They'll be like, you know, you're not supposed to do that. That's not how you do this, and that. I'll just be like, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, I need to watch more, watch more videos on how to make, uh, how to make three D models. Because <laughs> right now, what I do is, uh, I put squares, I put some lighting, I just use it as a reference. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I want to learn how to properly make 3D models and stuff and, you know, use them. <laughs> I think there's definitely a learning curve when it comes to 3D because uh, like different programs have such different shortcuts and stuff. Like I, I tried learning ZBrush and Blender at the same time and I realized like the shortcuts are all different. I just gave up and just went to Blender for now. <laughs> but Blender is a pretty good like basis for uh, a lot of stuff. So and it's free. It's free. <laughs> Uh, and then when you get used to a certain shortcut and then you go to another program and then you use the same shortcut and it doesn't work and you're just like ah, Here we go again <laughs> mm. Jump. Mm, I feel like there was an option to change Ah, there we go. The stabilizer. That's what I needed. Wait. Okay, that's real slow. <laughs> Let me see what the option is. Right? What? Uh, hold on. Use weighted. Weighted is better? Ah. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> did, did, did I tell you guys how about how uh how uh I did um ring fit before I started the stream and uh yeah my hands are shaking. <laughs> My hands are shaking from ring fit. That's why I need a stabilizer on <laughs> on my liner. <laughs> my 
arms are aching, my knees are weak. I feel like I can't really go into details and like... That's also because I didn't use the correct, uh... Whatchamacallit, resolution for this picture. Oh well. Look how much smoother my line is now. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Oops. It's so much better. Oh. Great. おはようございます。Uh, it's not a question about if ring fit is a good exercise or not. It's a question about how little exercise I got before that. <laughs> yeah. Gotta ask the real questions here. Hard on my workout? I did! You guys wanna know how long the workout was? <laughs> I don't know if you guys wanna know. It was 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Sad. That's including the tutorial. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I say I don't exercise at all. I have no stamina. stamina I think I think I would I wouldn't even last as long as Zuna Senpai I'd probably just die not gonna lie when I was seeing the exercises today I saw Kelly's uh, Kelly's face flash before my eyes and I, I knew it was my time to stop it was time to stop But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start, <laughs> I'm gonna start playing it every day, so, so, yeah, maybe, maybe I can actually play it long enough that I can stream it one day. <laughs> so right now, if I were to stream it, it's just gonna be, uh, it's just gonna be like a 20 minute stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a 20 minute stream and it's gonna be uh it's gonna be 10 minutes hello. No, five minutes loading. Uh and it's gonna be like uh five minutes loading ten minutes uh hellos and then wait, that doesn't add up. And then uh, fif 15 minutes of... No, that's 30 minutes. That's hard, but it's gonna be very little exercise time. <laughs> Five minute exercise time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my brain is a little lacking right now. I think my brain sugar just ran out. <laughs> my brain sugar ran out trying to explain how to use this program. How unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank 
Yep. Biggest mystery is how am I bad at such basic math, but how did I... How did I almost ace? Very difficult calculus courses. I did not know. It's my biggest mystery till... Till right now. <laughs> But then, back then, I actually used my brain cells a lot more, but... These days, I don't use my math brain cell. Not too much. <laughs> That's the thing, if I need to calculate something, I just ask Google. <laughs> Like, sup, Google? What's... What's this plus this? Wait. Do I have a ruler? <gasps> I do have a ruler. Hold on. <laughs> My ruler is stuck to the ground. Or desk, rather. Alright. Ruler time. Wow, straight lines. Amazing. <laughs> I'm actually using a ruler. Uh. Wow, straight line. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is great technology. Yes. Impossible. Indeed. <laughs> oh. oh boy, I'm getting a little sleepy. Like, I want to finish this, but I feel like using a new program makes me really, really slow. <laughs> makes me really slow. And sleepy. Mm. <laughs> if I were to finish it, I'd probably end up... Mm, finishing it off stream. I just want to focus, go into focus mode, and then finish drawing it. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. As long as I finish her boing boings. Good. You guys only care about the boy and boys. If you care about the boy and boys, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> it's okay, my my uh my boy and boys are covered by the uh puppet. Yes. <laughs> You're covered by my puppet, you just can't see it today. You know what? You doubt me? Okay, fine. I'll give you guys another another TED talk. The the advantages of being hydrodynamic part two. <laughs> the advantages of being hydrodynamic part two. You can run fast and it doesn't hurt. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> See, there's advantages 
to be either to them. You can't run in a... what? I, I can run, I just run very short distances. <laughs> After being tired. Back in my day, I used to run a lot longer. But nowadays, the indoors, they call to me. Outside scary. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, I drew this backwards. I knew it. I have to delete everything, I just gotta delete this. Yes. <laughs> A TED talk on hydrodynamics, yes. I know the content that you guys are waiting for. Always. Draw the pages. and by line art. stuff while she was drawing or something <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah her screen for Fuki Senpai was amazing I was definitely awake after that <laughs> are usually for catching up on sleep, but now I'm catching up on other stuff. <laughs> but at least I was entertained. This is a bunch of exciting streams this week. Usually when I have to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that uh, Noble Phantasm animation. 
that's all made for me. I forgot their username, but it was really cool. Poor Gora. <laughs> Getting NP'd. Hmm. That's really well made. I think in the comments or somewhere, someone was, someone asked what my cards would be, and they were like, all arts. <laughs> I laughed a little bit. All art servant. <laughs> Stall all arts team. That'd be an interesting servant for sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, Anya, Anya Dan, she sent me a DM. Uh, the other time, and she was like, Ina senpai, I heard you like FGO too. I also like FGO, I was like, ah, oh, one of us. <laughs> okay, I, <laughs> I'm losing focus. I'm losing focus and I'm gonna have to fix a bunch of things when I wake up. My brain sugar ran out. Is it? I think it's. Uh, what's it? Is it glucose that your brain needs in order to function? I forget. But. But. I realized the reason I probably crave so much sugary stuff is because my brain. Just goes overdrive when I'm drawing, and then just like Ina, where's my brain sugar? I need my brain sugar. <sighs> yeah. So I always need to replenish, replenish the sugar from time to time when I draw. Otherwise, I get really sleepy, like right now, or I can't even focus, and or I like start drawing six fingers. <laughs> yep, it happens. It happens. That's why I had um. That's why I had uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm mumbling. I'm always mumbling. That's why I had strawberry milk at the beginning, just to replenish a little bit of, uh, a little bit of sugar, but obviously not enough for many hours. I try. My brain cells are slowly falling asleep. Yeah. I'm almost done. I could totally use some marshmallows right now. You guys wanna sacrifice yourself? Marshmallow tacos. Mmm, delicious. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Maybe. <laughs> hum nom nom nom. Hum nom nom nom. Wow, yummy. <laughs> yummy. Nom nom nom.
see. Am I done? Am I done finish the white oil? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm reaching my limit <laughs> for today. I'm reaching my limit for today. Uh, there, there, there. Yeah, I'm gonna save. You know, it's not too bad. I think I'm getting used to the line art feeling of this, uh, of Krita. Hmm. <laughs> I say, um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yay! We learned Krita together. Yay! What program do I usually use? Clip Studio Paint. Yes. Hmm. What's up, everyone? Otsukaizama deshita. Nemui. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, I should have probably taken a nap. I should have taken a nap uh, before before the stream, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll finish this off when I wake up. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm, I had coffee. Well, I spilled like half of it, but I had coffee. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank you for all the super chats. Welcome to all the new members of the Tentacult. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys check out the uh, any new members. You can check out the member uh, member only playlist where I have the previous member stream safe. Mm -hmm. Especially the uh, latest Smash Bros stream. I quite enjoyed. <laughs> I want to do more Smash. Smash Bros. Uh, stream someday. <laughs> okay, okay, my brain is actually shutting down, so I need to go sleep. <laughs> Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe I hope. Uh, a bit, a bit, a bit. I hope you learned something today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. And I'll see if I can save and share this. Uh, Brush with you guys. The brush. Well, I guess we didn't get to use the uh, use the coloring brush, but I'll see if I can share the liner brush at least. I'll ask Emma Chan uh, what's a good way to share brushes or files. Is <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's it. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.